are uh, here in the Bahamas. We're we are going to make it right. If you became a millionaire, would you keep working? You know? Great job, brother. Good plan to make sure you're What's going on right now is California's trying to figure out. Don't eat. Don't eat. Don't eat. Don't eat. Don't eat. Oh, I can. Welcome to BitBoy Crypto, home of the Bit Squad, the largest and greatest crypto community in all the interwebs. No channel works harder to keep you in the know about crypto than this one right here. No channel works harder. No channel fights harder for you than this one. And today is a day of infamy for many people when it comes to the Celsius thing. I'm going to tell you right now, from this point forward, uh, we have an opportunity to change history in crypto. And we are, we are going to be doing that. There is something going on in crypto right now that is so foul, that is so corrupt, that is so unbelievably evil, so centralized finance, so traditional finance, so TradFi, that it must be stopped. And we are going to lead the charge to stop this today. I, I will tell you that much. Today's going to be a little bit different of a show than normal. Uh, we are going to be heavily focused on what is happening with Celsius. There are bad actors galore, and we are going to be calling them out. In fact, we're actually going to be calling them today. We're going to see if some of these people answer because somebody's got to hold these people accountable. And like I said, like I said on Twitter yesterday, if you don't know the way that I operate, if you haven't figured it out by now, I will show up at your front door. I will show up at your front door. We're going to be throwing digital sledgehammers. We, we are going to be making people very scared and very uncomfortable going forward. And let me tell you, nothing is off limits. Nothing is off limits for this. And <laughs> let me tell you, you guys know I I, uh, I learned actually from um, uh, law enforcement, you guys know it's almost impossible to get in trouble for doxing somebody? Do you guys know that? It's almost, it's almost, it's unprecedented. Uh, so these people that think they have protection, they don't actually have protection. And we're going to be holding these people accountable like they've never been held accountable for. My name is Ben. We come to you live every single day, 11.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Today is Wednesday, 2-2-2, two, two, two. February 22nd, 23. Hey. It's 2-2-2-2-3, 2 2 2 2 3 two, 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 three. That's right. What were you going to say, DJ? No, I just, just realized it was 2 That's That's kind 2 of funny. 2-22, yeah. A lot of twos going on. So, uh, uh, obviously, we come to you live every single day, 11.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, 71 degrees here in the Bitwood Crypto Office. Um, a couple of things to point out before we really get going today. Um, make sure we need the cowboy hat. I tell you what, I should have got my dang cowboy hat. Where, where's my outlaw hat? We are going to be in Philadelphia tomorrow night for the book tour. Uh, and if you like justice, you know what? The irony is not lost on me that tomorrow we're going to Philadelphia. You, do you guys know what sits in Philadelphia? The Liberty Bell, the Liberty Bell. And, and do you know what's wrong with the Liberty Bell? It's got a crack running through it. And there's a crack running through crypto. And we're about to, we're about to, uh, to cock it up. We're about to cock it up. That's what we're going to do. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to stick cock in a lot of people here uh, over this thing. I can tell you that much. We are going to be in Philadelphia tomorrow night. Birthplace of freedom, home of freedom, um, <laughs> home of the, Number two ranked NFL football team in the NFL. Uh, man, that hurts. Almost as bad as getting some cock in the that, crack. That hurts. Yeah, Jalen. Yeah. Jalen hurts. That's Thank good. You, Reverend Sarah. Um, so, uh, no, Caleb, I have, Kalen, I have not seen the new Bank of America coin. I have not seen it. Uh, Frank, we're not doing charts for a long time, just so you know. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So if you want to sit in and watch the show, that's great. Whatever, whatever you want to do. Uh, we are we are going to be in uh, New York City as well on Friday night. So uh, if you guys are going to be in Philadelphia or New York City, uh, make sure you guys come check out the book tour. Catch up to crypto. You can get it on, um, obviously, bitboycrypto.com slash book. Get more information here. Uh, don't forget to follow us on Twitter. Um, I mean, I was lighting people up on Twitter last night um, over this situation. We do get some uh, interesting CBDC regulation, potentially, from Tom Member, which is uh, some good stuff. Um, but this guy right here, we are going to be looking at this guy. I mean, can, can you imagine? I, I'm, I'm not trying not to attack people's appearances, but how can you look at this guy and not attack his appearance? Look, it's like he's purposely trying to look terrible. 
It's like he woke up in the morning, if this guy sleeps, if he doesn't sleep in a crypt, he woke up in the morning and he said, how can I take the worst picture with a microwave that's ever been taken? And here he is, Keith Wofford. They call him Clawback Keith. We're gonna be getting much more into Clawback Keith. As a matter of fact, let's try to give Keith a call right now. Let's see, let's see what Keith has to say here. Let's give Keith a call. Uh, I wanna talk to him about his face, first of all. But uh, let, let's, this, let me tell you what Keith wants to do. If you withdrew money from Celsius, he wants you to give it back. And in fact, uh, if you can hold on real quick, TJ, while I pull up, um, I got, I got uh, something I want to pull up that we can play. Hopefully, we never know if the audio is going to work or not. I hope the audio is going to work on this. Um, let's see, was it this guy? No, it was this guy. I got tons of people sending me information on these jokers. Okay, let's click here. Okay, can, and it, hold on one second. It's, uh, I got to get the timestamp real quick. It is. Okay, 41.20. It's 41.20. Okay, and this would have been back in September. Let's see here. Uh, let me move this to 41.20. Can you hear that? Yes. But I mean, I'm not pushing it to the stream right now, but I okay. can see the levels coming in. Okay. Tell me when you're ready. Okay. Right now. Go ahead. Okay. You can hear it? Well, not now. Not now? I could two seconds ago. Is it muted? This one. Let me put this on here. Okay, here we go. Why does it not let me play it? Here, here's something. Here's something. Why well, can't hear it? Can you? What happened? You could hear it. No, we can't. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's playing. It is playing. It's playing on over here. Yeah, I'm not sure why this is not playing. I tell you what. Let me let me let me pull it up on my phone and I'll play it on the on the microphone. Oh. That'll be best. No, I can't hear it on my side at all, Drew. Yeah, no, I got to log into it. Log it into. Let me just do this real quick. Let me just do this. I'm just going to do it this way because I, I don't want to have to mess around with any of this anymore. Um, okay. I'm just going to play it here because I know it'll play. All right. When you do, I'm going to turn your mic all the way up. So okay. Perfect. Keep that in mind. Okay. 4120. This, this is key. Treatment or whether they're effectively the same. Um, related to this issue is this issue that was mentioned forward of preference, which is the law says that basically you should be treated equally in bankruptcy, and that includes that if you took money out right before the bankruptcy and effectively got out of the building before everybody else, Hi everyone. that money can be asked to be returned. We're really and sorry so about the technical since the people on this call, by and large, are folks who got left holding the bag, as it were, one of the things the committee is considering is how to treat people who got off the platform, how to treat people who were earned people, and to the extent custody is an improvement, got elevated to custody. What were the facts of how people got into custody? That is, did they get into custody on the way out? Um, and so we, we've got all these factual patterns it and sounds like you factual <laughs> uh, indications that we need to get from the data and the debtors to make sure that we find some, what I'm going to call rough justice, but we in fact mean it to be real justice but in a minimum rough justice in terms of how people get treated. And he wants to F you. He just said it right there. He wants rough justice for Celsius holders. He wants you to feel the pain as a Celsius holder. For someone who removed your money beforehand, this man wants to forget. This is why this is so important. This is not not your keys, not your crypto. This is... Not your, not, not your bank account, not your wallet. They want to go after your bank account. 
They want to go after your money that you withdrew because you may have thought, wow, this company's shady AF. Maybe I should actually take my money off and not have my money on a centralized exchange. Keith Wofford wants rough justice. Let's call Keith. Let's call, let's call him right now, actually. Here we go. Oh, he got his number. Um, let's see here. Let's see. Let's call Keith. Let's see. Let's see. This is cool Keith. We'll call him cool Keith here. See if he'll answer here. He's in my, I can tell you what, I'm coming face to face with this guy at some point. I can tell you, bet your bottom dollar on that. We got all these people's phone numbers. I got all their addresses. I got all of it. Looks like we're going to have to leave him a, we're going to have to leave him a message. Maybe he'll leave his phone number on his message and everybody can hear it. The people that do that are so stupid. Your call has been forwarded oh. to an automated voice messaging system. Nine one seven. Keith five, will not answer. Seven zero five zero seven one is not available. The mailbox is full and cannot accept any messages at this time. Oh no, messages! It's it's full. Oh, don't worry. We got so much information on Keith. Keith Keith theft. Just so y'all know, Keith Keith is done. So, which by the way. He ran for public office. Back in, let's see if we can pull up his uh, public office uh, where he ran for, um, he lost, big surprise. People don't want to vote for somebody that look like this guy. <laughs> Imagine this, this is the guy representing you. This is the guy. I'm going to Washington and I'm going to be really mean. <laughs> like that's his slogan, right? Let's, let, let's look up uh, Keith Wofford's, uh, let, let's look him up here. Keith Wofford. Um, uh, he has his own Wikipedia, by the way. I want to show you guys something. I, I think this is so unbelievably interesting. <laughs> Before you run for office and lose, uh, after you run for office and lose, <laughs> this is 2018. 2018, look at that. Look at how much this guy has aged in four short years. He lost to Letitia James of, uh, 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 of New York uh, when he was running for attorney general. Now I think he's in Miami. I don't know. We're going to have to probably go to the beach to find this guy. Can you believe this is the same human? What? Did, did, he, did he lose his entire PR staff? Did he, did he lose everybody that was involved in this? Let's see if we can go to his... Um, and he, this guy works for White and Case, by the way. White and Case, the company that's got so many conflicts of interest, it's unbelievable. Uh, they, they they did due diligence on Celsius already. How did that work out for you? White White and Case. The irony is not lost on me here. Of that, of course. But let's let's look up uh, Keith Wofford uh, running for Attorney General. This guy's such a pussy. I I, I tell you, I I, I want to. I can't say what I want to do to this guy. I, I, I really can't say it or else they're going to get me off YouTube here. But it's absolutely unbelievable that this guy wants to take all your freaking money back. He wants rough justice. Let me tell you what, Keith, rough justice is coming. Rough justice is coming, Keith. It's just not going to be for who you think it's going to be for. Let, let's check this out. Keith Wofford for attorney general. Here it is. Here he is again. Look at this. Support Keith Wofford for attorney general. This guy will never win an election for his entire life for sure. Uh, so just so you guys understand, uh, here we go. Here he is. I don't know where mom is. I don't know. I wouldn't stay with the guy, but there, it looks like he's got some kids there uh, and looks like he talks to people in an office. So just so you guys understand what's going on, let, 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 let me, let, let's take a few steps back here. And let's start to paint this entire picture for you guys so you understand the importance of what we're talking about today. Because nothing else going on in crypto, Bitcoin is dropping. Who cares right now? This is a moment in history where we have the ability to press the pause button and turn the entire crypto community towards a common goal. You guys know all the anger, all, all the insolvencies, all the fraud, all the corruption that we've been looking at ever since all this stuff started, started with Terra Luna back in May. Do you guys remember this? Do you guys understand all that? How many of you guys have been upset about the landscape of crypto? It's all led us to this moment, which is they're still trying to do it to us right in front of our noses, right in front of our faces. You have Kirkland and Ellis in court lying to the judge. Ab uh, about the bids that came in. Do you guys know Binance tried to buy Celsius? Do you guys know that? Do you guys know there was a bid for Binance? 
Do you guys understand Nova Wolf Digital, the company that's that Celsius, the UCC, chose to work with? They got to choose because Kirkland and Ellis lied to the judge about all the bids. Literally went into court and lied. When are we going to hold these people accountable? When? Now, today's the day we start. If you have less than $5,000, if you have less than $5,000 in your account, Celsius has tried to buy you is what they've tried to do. They've tried to buy your vote so that you will vote for this horrible plan that, by the way, I have people in my DMs telling me they're on the verge of committing suicide over this. They're on the ver- Tons of people sending me messages about this. That they or someone they know withdrew money and have been think- so thankful they were able to skirt losing their life savings. And now old Clawback Keith, old Clawback Keith wants to come and take that money. Well, first of all, I'll tell you that I will shutter my entire business and I will move to another country and I will hide all my money before Celsius ever gets a freaking dime from me. I promise that. I, I, I guarantee that. And we're also going to be showing you guys, by the way, we're going to be showing you guys over the next few weeks, we're going to be doing videos showing you how to hide your money from the bankruptcy lawyers. That's what we're going to do. We're going to show you how to do it. So if, if they think they're going to be able to come after people and get money, we're going to show you how you don't have to give them the money. And also there is a, there's a large uh, 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 law group going, or a group going on uh, that involves a lawyer that's fighting to prevent all this from happening. We have a chance to stop this. We have a chance to stop this. And if you have $300 on Celsius and Celsius has tried to buy your vote, if you vote for this reorganization plan for your benefit of $300, you're a terrible person. You're a Benedict Arnold and we don't want you and we don't need you in this space. Good, we will weed you out. We're gonna win this vote we're going to make it so this, this reorg, if this reorganization of Celsius goes through, let me tell you what it's going to be. It's going to be, you're getting your money back on the front end and everybody's getting an even amount and there's no clawbacks. That's it, period. That's the only thing that we will accept. And we're going to unite the entire crypto community with pitchforks and knives and lanterns. We're going to, the whole thing, we're going to unite the entire crypto community against the Celsius UCC. We're going to pull up. Do we have the, the list of the UCC members on here somewhere? No, we don't. Oh, it is there somewhere. Let's see. Let's, let's start going over this list of people. Because Clawback Keith is only the first in a large set of dominoes that we are going to be attacking over this. Um, so I guess let's, let, let's, let's start. We'll get to these UCC members. Uh, Damon says he lost hundreds of thousands of dollars between exchanges. This is our moment, guys. This is our moment to where we officially say, what did we, what did, what did we say? When Sam happened, when FTX happened, what did we say? We said, we must forcibly remove these people from crypto. Forcibly remove. The time is now. The members of the UCC, Kirkland and Ellis, White and Case, Nova Wolf Digital, we are coming to forcibly remove you. The judge, we're going we're gonna to be showing you guys how to write letters to the judge. We are going to over whelm these people to where they have no choice but to be little pansies and tap out. Because I promise we're going to be relentless. We are not. This is the beginning of an entire new chapter of BitBoy Crypto when it comes to Celsius. We are standing up on the behalf of the people. Uh, Michael Motor says, what the heck is a clawback? That's a great question. Let me explain to you what a clawback is. A clawback is when a bankruptcy occurs and at the time of the bankruptcy, it goes back 90 days. Who, what is this? Let's talk about the nature of a clawback. What it's supposed to prevent. It's supposed to prevent insiders with inside information from being able to withdraw money and leaving the average person or the average investor holding the bag. To, to, to where they're not, when it, when it goes to bankruptcy, the people holding the bag on the site are not going to be able to get their money off at least 100%, whereas the people that are removed beforehand do. Now, there's a difference between what's called insider clawbacks and retail clawbacks. Now, a clawback is where they literally come to you and try to take your money. Now, we're, I'm going to be talking much later today with some people about what this mechanically looks like because, guys, 
they can't actually come take your money back, right? You have to hand them the money back. You, they can't take it. They, they, they can tie you up in court for years and maybe at some point a judge comes to an agreement and says, well, you have to forfeit your house if you own your house. If you don't own your house outright, they can't do that, by the way. If you have a, if, if you have a mortgage, you're very protected from that. You're not gonna have to sell your house to pay this off. But guys, this is crypto. <laughs> they can't come into your wallet and take your crypto. So that should be telling you guys a, a lot about what I would be doing if I were scared they were coming to take my money and I were the type of person that played by the rules and wanted to give it back. They're going to come and try to take your money back if you withdrew money, okay? There's a difference between insider clawbacks and retail clawbacks, okay? Insider clawbacks. This is for Alex Mashinsky. <laughs> This is for Alex. These are for people that worked inside of the platform and saw this coming. Uh, clawback, the 30 million Nuke and other executives withdrew right before they declared bankruptcy. Correct. Thank you for that comment. That is an insider clawback. When they had knowledge the bankruptcy is coming and they withdrew $30 million beforehand, that money should go back. Retail clawback is when people get nerd for whatever reason. Maybe you were just taking money off because you were buying something. But potentially, there was a lot of talk about Celsius being insolvent. There was a lot of talk about people understanding that their money, not your keys, not your crypto, we need to take our money off. Those people who were smart enough to remove their money should not be punished. And do you guys know who makes all the money on the clawbacks? <laughs> See, if, you're, if you're an investor on Celsius and you didn't take your money off, you're probably sitting here thinking to yourself, well, shoot, I didn't take my money off. I guess if they take money from other people, that's good for me. Wrong. The lawyers are going to get all the money. You guys understand how many, 50 to $60 million they paid out to the lawyers? These lawyers are the real villains. The, the lawyers, Case and White and Case, and Kirkland and Ellis, these are the true villains. The UCC, the board, they're probably getting kickbacks. There are two people on the board, Chris Ferraro, and Thomas DeFiore, and we are coming after these guys too. Uh, Thomas, you live in Puerto Rico. Don't matter to me, bud. We're, we're going to find you. These people are all the people, all the rest of the members of the board, by the way, they've all been silent about all this. They're all complicit. Silence is complicit. If you are complicit on this, we are coming after you. And I'm telling you, we need the entire crypto community to rise up against this. This means that going forward, any exchange, anytime you think about this, we talk about not your keys, not your crypto. We talk about having your wallet and, and, and feeling fear because you are putting your money on a third party site. And so we told people, take your money off, get it back in your wallet. It doesn't matter where it goes. Any exchange by this precedent that Celsius is trying to start. This precedent means your money in your own bank account is no longer even safe. What kind of precedent is that for crypto, for self-sovereignty, for financial freedom, for personal responsibility? Why do we get held responsible on a retail personal level, but yet on a corporate level, they're able to run, check, run unchecked. Kirkland and Ellison is able to walk into a, law, a courtroom and literally lie to the judge, and the judge accepted it, which makes me believe that the judge in this case is already corrupt. How, how, how could a judge sit there and listen to a lawyer come in and say, oh, all these busy 26 bids or however many were, oh, they're all corrupt, they're all corrupt. None of them are good, none of them are good. The judge says, okay, thank you, thank you for submitting that. Great, okay, okay. That's how judges sound, I don't know if you know that. Sorry, not to be judgmental. <laughs> even in the midst, even in the midst. But the fact is, we're going to overwhelm this judge. We are going to overwhelm these lawyers. We are going to overwhelm this board. There is only one plan that works. One plan that works for a reorg. Give us our money back. The money that sits in that account right now. Do not pay any more law fees. Take the crypto, liquidate it, give it our cut. Give us our cut. It, pay it in cash. I don't care. You're going to make what? Because let me tell you, it once, see, this is what they're not telling you. When this bull run hits, and this is still drug out in court, which by the way, this has been extended basically until June, crypto is going to explode and you're going to get a tiny little fraction back at the end of a bull run.
Uh, Richard Hart called Sam with FTX out for years. Oquan with Terra Celsius. Exchanges are bad. He said this a hundred times. Can we agree on that? No, no, nobody, nobody, Alex Mashinsky on Celsius. Nobody thinks exchanges are good, guys. Nobody thinks that. Exchanges are evil. Decentralized exchanges, you know what? They they prevent us with they present us with an opportunity to do things different. Centralized exchanges, and this is what I said about this SEC movement the other day. The centralized exchanges are, I want you guys to hear me on this. The centralized exchanges are just as much as our enemy as the SEC is. They are just as much of the enemy as the SEC is. Don't forget to smash this like button for this video. If you guys like when we call people out. Celsius. Alex Wyszynski. White, Case and White. I can't even remember all the names of the people. Kirkland and Ellis. Thomas DeViore. Chris Ferraro. The guy leading, the guy leading, I want you to think about this. The guy leading Celsius right now as a CEO, he's from JP freaking Morgan. He's from JP Morgan. A literal banker, a literal banker is in charge of all this. And this is what I mean, this is so important. And I just don't understand, I just don't know if people are really understanding how important what is happening right now. If we let this go the other way, when all the information is out right in front of us and we are all watching this in real time, if we let this go, we will never have a say and we will never have a voice and we will never have power in crypto again. They win. They win. That's what's on the line here. That is what is on the line here. And I uh, got this guy, Corey Rutch. See you tomorrow, Ben. No, I don't want you to come back. If this is not important to you, I don't want you to watch this show. If this is not important to you, if the ideals and underlying philosophies of crypto and, and, and uh, uh, what's the word, decentralization, if these are not important to you, don't freaking come back. If all you care about is me coming into this chat and saying, Bitcoin, go up, Bitcoin, go down, get the F out, don't let the door hit you. I, I like your little smart comment there. If this stuff is not important, then I don't want you here. This is what this is all about. And if we have to dwindle down this bit squad to the core of people who actually care, then we will get 10 times more done than we get done right now, period. So yeah, let the door hit you, Corey. See ya. Let's go, let's, let's start breaking this down about what's going on exactly. Celsius Bankruptcy Court confirms that customer digital assets are property of the estate in ruling. The bankruptcy court presiding over the chapter 11 cases of digital assets. This is the judge. Where does it, does it say his name here? Ama amazing. How do we talk about it? How do we talk about the judge? How do we have an article talking about the judge of a bankruptcy court and we can't even give the freaking name? That's, that's how the media tries to protect these people, just so you understand. We're coming after all of them. We're coming after all of them. The bankruptcy court presiding over the chapter 11 cases of digital asset platform Celsius Network, LLC, and its affiliates issued a key ruling on January 4, 2023, the decision, by concluding that a significant portion of digital assets held in Celsius customer accounts are property of the debtor's estates and holders of such accounts accordingly are unsecured creditors. What does this do? This screwed every person that put money on Celsius. This says, when you, and guys, this is what we already know. We already know this. When you put your money on a third-party exchange, it is is not your money anymore. It is their money. The judge in this case backed that up and said, this is the way this works. The way it works is you give your money, it is there. Celsius can now do with whatever they please with it. Whatever they please with it. That's what they'll do. Why'd you take that down? Just to focus. Oh, I'm good. Celsius, <laughs> you want me to do the stories? Yeah. You don't want me to get distracted by the by by my people. All right. No, it's okay. No, it's okay. No, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'll, I can stay focused for a minute. I had a hot shower this morning. Don't don't let me get started on Reem water heaters. R H E E M. Because if I wasn't in the middle of a gigantic war with forty eight people right now, which man, it gives me life. I love it. I've been floundering the last couple of weeks without an enemy. And now I've got plenty of them. I'm so excited about it. But the fact is, once this is over, I'm coming after you, Reem. 
a week without a hot shower. Finally had one this morning. Only one. Now two, two to four more days before. Oh, man. Let me tell you what. Celsius faces backlash after unveiling dull recovery plan to exit bankruptcy. I want to give this guy some credit here real quick. Um, this guy, I don't know this guy from Adam. I don't know if this guy hates me. I, I, I can never keep up with who hates me and who doesn't. Um, or who I've yelled at and who I haven't yelled at because pretty much I've yelled at everybody. Uh, this guy here, Aaron Bennett. Um, this guy, my thoughts on the Nova Wolf plan. This video lays it out very, very, very well. And he gives a lot of very important dates here that we need to stay focused on. So shout out to this guy. You guys should go subscribe to this guy and uh, check out what he's saying. He is a creditor on Celsius, um, just like uh, the rest of us. Um, so, and, and I also want to point out, I, this has nothing to do with us. We, we lost money on Celsius. I'm not 100% sure um, what is going on here um, with what, what is going on with our money, what they're going to try. We, we've got loans over there. We had all kinds of stuff. This isn't about us. I don't care about us. I care about the people in my chat, in my DM saying they're going to kill themselves. That, that's who I care about. Uh, let's see here. Uh, here are the UCC creditors here, or the, the board of uh, the board. That's the board right here. Caroline Warren, Thomas DeFiore, ICB Solutions, Christopher Coco, they say his lover is in love with the Coco. Uh, Andrew Yoon, Mark Robinson, and Covario AG. And don't forget the CEO is Chris Ferraro. And it also shows how much they have on the platform right now. Um, let's see. So these are the people representing us, guys. These are people representing us. Caroline Warren, she has um, in her, I'll give you her biggest numbers. In her custody wallet, she has $706. In her earn account, she has a spicy $69. These are the people representing us. Loan collateral. Now she got some loans. She got a loan collateral. She got 11 Bitcoins in loan collateral. So there you go. Um, Thomas DeFiore, he's got 45 Bitcoin on there. He's got a lot of money. He's got a lot of sell token, um, which is why he's trying to sell all y'all up the river. Uh, Christopher Coco, he's got an astounding three Bitcoin and five thousand dollars. He's got seventy six thousand total. Um, let's see, and then you got Mark Robinson. He's got eighteen thousand dollars total. How about that? Eighteen thousand dollars making all the decisions for everybody who's lost all the money. So I brought I brought that guy up to show you guys about this plan here. Celsius lawyers shared that if the plan is approved, creditors with locked assets above an unspecified threshold will receive, <laughs> we'll just call it the ass token. We'll call it the ass token, the asset share token. And let me tell you, let, let me tell you what these guys are not prepared for. Uh, we're going to get into this. Or do we get into Providence blockchain here at all? Okay. We get a Providence blockchain. You guys are seeing they're trying to create a stable coin to pay people back with. <laughs> Celsius, through a blockchain called Providence Blockchain that no one knows about, not tested technology at all, they will create their own stable coin. So this is my put, 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 dog whistle to Gary Gensler, who works for Goldman Sachs, obviously, to Circle, Circle, hey, hey, Circle, FTX announced a stable coin, you destroyed them, Okay. We, we know what you did there. We know what you and Barry did, okay? We, we know you don't like Gemini stable coins, so you destroyed their earn program. We, we know you don't like Binance, so you sneakily found a rule that Paxos violated so you can get them to stop minting BUSD. We know these stable coin wars are real. So this shows you how disconnected and how stupid and low IQ these people are. They, in the midst of all this, they think they're going to be able to create a stable coin to pay people back with. <laughs> you cannot make this stuff up. These people are so disconnected from reality and what's really going on behind the scenes that they're about to set up an entire plan that will not even be enforceable because stable coin regulation is coming. Celsius lawyers share that if plan is approved, everyone will receive the ass token, the asset share token, AST. Notably, the AST to be received will reflect the value of their assets and holders would be entitled to earn dividends or sell them on the open market. And this involves NUCO. And here's a quote um, from, who, who said this? Twitter user and commentator Crypto Tolkien. 
My wife would like him. <sighs> she has those. Uh, the, no, that's not see it. That's Tolkien, right? J- yeah. That's J.R. Tolkien. Yeah, that's not, I get all these British authors confused that she loves. She would leave me for any one of them if they were all still alive. Thank God they're dead. And Harry Potter's not real. The fake reorganization is a scam to steal more of your funds locked on their platform and issue you a worthless new code to- token instead of your Bitcoin, Ethereum, or Chainlink. They are trying to block any other plan from being considered besides their own. Kirkland and Ellis lied. What? They lied in a court of law. Now, if you lie in a in a civil court, is that a prosecutable offense criminally? I would think so. You would think so. It's got to be, right? Yeah. We need to push for criminal charges for Kirkland and Ellis. I, wa- I want the name of the lawyer, and somebody will send it to me in my DMs because y'all are just that good like that. I can't keep looking at them because TJ says I've got to stay focused. I want the name of the lawyer. Y'all give me the name of the lawyer. We need to start calling law enforcement. We need criminal charges against these people. Obviously, we need criminal charges against Alex Mashinsky. Obviously, we need criminal charges against Nuke. Obviously, we need criminal charges against anyone that withdrew money with insider information of the bankruptcy from Celsius. But we, these lawyers have to also be held accountable. Okay, uh, they, say, they say nothing civil is criminal. Is that what somebody said in there? Uh, I see that? did say that. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Uh, it is worth, there's our favorite girl. There she is. Don't forget Coin Ledger. It is worth noting that the threshold for releasing the token has not been set. With Celsius lawyers say that there are ongoing discussions around this matter with the Unsecured Creditors Committee. Consequently, Crypto Token alleged that the two entities are planning to steal more money. Celsius and the UCC are planning right now to steal your money. The you withdrew 90. Guys, this article was written on. Um, January 30th, okay? This plan had already been revealed by then, w- these retail clawbacks. I've been hoping this wasn't true, but it is true. Celsius and the UCC are planning right now to steal your money that you withdrew 90 days prior. Actually, I think the clawbacks were not even public by then yet. So he knew what he was talking about. 90 days prior to Celsius declaring bankruptcy through clawbacks. They don't care if you use that money to pay your taxes or for hospital bills. They will put a lien on your house and garnish your wages. Now, once again, guys, we're going to fight this tooth and nail. We're going to fight this tooth and nail. I don't want anybody to give them a dime because here's the thing. You guys do understand if this does come to this, which we're going to get this vote turned the other way. It doesn't even matter really. But you do understand how much money has to go in to trying to get this money back from you. You need to make it a negative ROI for them to come after your money. And when everyone does that and everyone bands together and no one hands them the money back, they don't have enough money to come after all of us. They just don't. They don't. They, they want to buy you off. They want to scare you with tactics. That's all they want to do is scare you with these tactics. You, you think they're going to garnish 5,000 people's wages over this? No. No. They're, they're, they're not going to. They don't have the resources to do that. They know that. That's why we have to make a movement out of this. Currently, it is unclear whether the recovery plan will affect a previous update on withdrawing assets from the platform. Notably, Celsius troubles began after the company halted withdrawals, citing liquidity issues. Here's the creditors committee. Here it is. What is a creditors com- committee? This is the UCC. A group of people who represent a company's creditors in a bankruptcy proceeding. So who do these people represent? The customers that put all the money on the platform? No, no, no. They represent the other creditors, the bills they have to pay, the people that were in on the scam, the law firms. That's who they really represent. Who do they pretend to represent? Everyone. It's very clear that they don't at this point. What is a creditor's committee? A creditor's committee is a group of people who represent uh, a company's creditors in a bankruptcy proceeding. As such, a creditor's committee has broad rights and responsibilities, including devising a reorganization plan for bankrupt companies or deciding whether they should be liquidated. The creditor's committee is usually further divided between secured and unsecured creditors. Where's our unsecured creditor's committee? I haven't seen it. 
Uh, let's see here. The Secure Creditors Committee consists of lenders that have a first claim on assets that collateralize their loan. Such groups, because of their secured stats, are the first creditors to be paid back in bankruptcy proceedings. Purpose of a creditors committee is to ensure that unsecured creditors who may be owed relatively small sums, this is who they're focused on, the relatively small sums because they're going to try to buy your vote, are still represented in bankruptcy proceedings. A U.S. bankruptcy trustee appointed in larger cases via Chapter 11 proceedings is in charge of choosing who will be included in a creditors committee, selecting from the unsecured creditors who have the 20 largest unsecured claims against the debtor in question. Now, is that? How can that be true when the guy's got $18,000 that's on the committee? Doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense, does it? Oh, now people are starting to figure it out. It's been a scam from the beginning. All they've tried to do from the beginning of this is try to figure out how they can steal more money from people. And this is playing out right in front of our eyes. Right in front of our eyes, this is playing out. It must be stopped. Re here's Retail Clubback connect, uh, Protection here. Uh, those of us who withdrew funds from uh, Celsius during the 90 days prior to the July 13, 2022 petition date are subject to a 547 avoidance action, more commonly referred to as a clawback. Our purpose is to leverage the Chapter 11 Bankruptcy Code, Safe Harbor Defense in, in Section 547, ordinary business terms, to protect against the possibility that Celsius, the UCC, or a liquidation trustee decides to bring such avoidance against us um let's put this can you put this um I, I can do it if you give me one second i can do it i i i can actually go into my own chat i believe if i change my account here and i can go to my live show where is my live show I'm trying to do a poll no, no no i'm just i'm just putting this uh link if you want to join this if you want to join this um <clears throat> collection here uh or this uh telegram group so, you know, I, look, guys, I, I've had a really hard time. I've had a really hard time trying to figure out who the good guys are and, and, and who the bad guys are in this. I, I, I really have. Because, you know, the, the thing about it is that there just doesn't seem to be anybody who really has everybody's best interest at heart, okay? I've got people representing the side of the UCC. I've got people representing... Uh, uh, people who had a lot of money locked up on Celsius. We have Simon Dixon. We've had him on the show. I don't trust any of them 100%. I don't trust anybody. The guy, the guy who sent me all this, Plan C, I don't trust him 100%. Sorry. I'm not trying to throw him out of the bus. He's sending me a lot of good information. I'm just saying I've had to slowly but surely figure out who the good guys are and who the bad guys are. And I thought Simon and Plan C were bad guys. I don't know. I was starting to think maybe they're the good guys. And maybe the information I was told about them is incorrect. This is a hard water to navigate. That's why people say, why were you so hard on Alex at first? And then, and then you kind of laid off him a little bit. There's a lot of overlap between FTX and Celsius. This is not easy to figure out, guys. It, as we get more into this, you see how deep these connections go and how deep these tentacles are. It's hard to know who the good guys are and who the bad guys are. I can tell you this, though. I'll tell you this about Simon Dixon. His plan was a hundred percent better plan than this plan. I don't know what his motivations are for doing what he does. I don't know if he really cares about people. I don't know if he's doing it for his own personal uh, bottom line. But the bottom line is, it doesn't matter what someone's motivation is if the end result is better for everybody. And his plan should have probably been approved, to be honest with you. I would like to see Binance buy it, to be honest with you. What's that? Hot stuff? Hot stuff. He says, uh, these are the companies that currently owe money to Celsius, but the lawyers are not pursuing. Oh, we got hot stuff right here. <laughs> hot off the press. These are companies that owe money to Celsius. The lawyers said, so the lawyers are going after retail clawbacks. They're going after your individual money before they're going after fireblocks. And remember this, guys rough justice against these companies. We, we are going to take rough justice and we are going to make that our slogan. Thank you, Clawback Keith. This, this campaign we're going to run, we're going to call it rough justice. Firebox and Stakehound, they owe 35,000 Ethereum to Celsius. $57 million. Lawyers not pursuing. 
BitMEX, 3,000 Bitcoin. You think BitMEX doesn't have that? That's $73 million. Jason Stone stole $100 million from Celsius. Uh, remember that Key DeFi guy? There was Key DeFi. What was the name of it? Some Key DeFi. That guy's a scammer, by the way. That guy's 100% scammer. He stole money from Celsius. He tried to paint a picture when the ship was going down. We'll have much, guys, we're going to have much more about this stuff in the coming weeks. Equities First, a company. Equities First. Let, let's look this company up. You guys are going to want to know who this company is. Thank you for that, uh, Nick DeMondi. Crypto Sexual sent that. Thank you. Equities First. Let's look up this company here. Equities First. Here they are. If you are on Celsius, you need to show up at these people's doorstep if you live near them. Where, where, where are they at? Where is this? This looks like this is somewhere foreign. This looks like a foreign building here, doesn't it? Mm. Looks like Singapore, maybe. I don't know. Maybe they're different countries. I don't know. Let's see where they're at. Do they have an address? God, please tell me this guy is a real person and isn't a... <laughs> please tell me Lux Luther is in charge of this company. Or Lex Luther. Is it Lex Luther? Mm. I just say, I'm not a comic book guy. I'm, I'm sorry. You need to pound this company. You know how much money these people owe to Celsius? And the lawyers are not pursuing them. $350 million. Over one third of a billion dollars. And they don't have to pay back? Hold up a second. You're telling me the guy that withdrew, that has a $40,000 claim on Celsius is in my DMs? That withdrew his entire life savings of $100,000? That Clawback Keith wants to rough justice him? Where's the rough justice for equities first? $350 million. Who are these people? Yeah, that's the bottom line because Stone Cold said so. I like that, Damon. That's true. So join that Telegram group. Here we go. Connect, connect with Keith. Here he is. Connect with Keith. We got more here. Oh, it's in Indianapolis. Hey, something tells me we might be doing an Indianapolis stop for the... I would like to announce a BitBoy Crypto book tour stop in Indianapolis coming before the end of March. Coming before the end of March. I'll go to Ohio too. Why not? Maybe I'll go to Detroit. I'll, go to, I'll do three cities. I'll probably do it on a weekend. How about that? We'll go Indianapolis. We'll go Columbus. And then we'll go to Detroit. We'll do it on a weekend. How, how about that? Does that sound good? I want that Detroit. P. I gotta go see my guy, Crypto Blood. They can pay up. Uh, MC Crypto says, equities first. They can pay off the judges and the lawyers. They can. They got more money than us. But remember this. A united people are stronger. The, where's the revolution in crypto? This is it. This is the time. This is when we unite a united front against this BS that has taken over our industry. We have the chance to overthrow the traditional finance lackeys before they're able to act. And that's what we're going to be doing on this channel. We are going after people. And let me tell you, y'all huh, better call security in Indianapolis because we showing up. You better get ready. I'm not going to tell you. Well, I guess I will. We'll have a book tour. We'll have to tell you when we're coming. We'll choreograph it for him. Guess we'll have to go there on a Friday. Here, it's Keith Wofford. Let's connect with Keith Wofford, everybody. Uh, they're more likely. Oh, add a note. Hey, Keith. It's me, Ben Armstrong. Just wanted to connect with you. I hear that you are all in favor for rough justice. Hey, bud, lube up. There we go. We'll send that. We like that. Tell him to lube up. Lube up. We're coming for you, Keith. We're coming. This, this ain't no cool Keith over here. Corey, Corey, uh, Corey, we, we had a big misunderstanding on the show. Guys, can I, can I, is there a way to, we need another unbutton. I'm trying to, trying to, trying to, I, I need to, I need to claw back my low IQ comment for Corey. Corey, I, I need to, I need, I have a bit squad claw back that I need to do back. Corey, that is the worst timing in the history of this channel.
<laughs> that was really. He means he's going to see me tomorrow at the book signing. <laughs> I take back everything I said about Corey. Corey is a loyal Bid Squad member, but it gave me the opportunity to make a point. And I think about this, Corey. You, sir, and your bad timing were able to give a platform to something that needed to be given a platform to, which is people need to care about this stuff. Corey, you're going to get a heck of an inscription in your book tomorrow. I will tell you that. Corey, we love you. Thank you so much for clarifying that. <laughs> okay, can we just all take a breath for Corey Rutch? We love Corey Rutch. Uh, ben, I got SIM card swap, got new SIM after 1.5 hours. Email password changed, but never access banker crypto. I changed all passwords. What am I missing? Uh, this is from Matty G83. Here's what I'll tell you about, about that. <clears throat> what I'll tell you about uh, SIM card swapping is make sure that your email account is not connected to your phone number. <clears throat> there are ways to do this. G Google will try to force you to do it. Do not do it. You can, you can skip. You can follow the prompts. Tell them you'll do it later. Do not attach your phone number to your email address. That's, that's the golden goose when it comes to the SIM card swapping. Which, did I tell you I've met Michael Turpin? No. Do you know who he is? Uh, it sounds extremely familiar, but I can't place it right now. So that was not rough justice on Corey, by the way. Sorry, Corey. Uh, Michael Turpin's a guy that sued uh, AT&T for $224 million over the SIM card swap and consensus at 2017, I think. Uh. Gotcha. I think like 12 guys got SIM card swap. I think he lost 10 or $12 million. He, uh, he was able to sue AT&T and he, he's, he's on, he's basically won. He's on the verge of winning. Um, uh, I can't remember exactly what it was, but he came, he, uh, came and, um, got a book signed by me in, um, Miami. So, uh, it was definitely cool to, to meet him. He's a really good guy. Uh, unlike Keith Wofford, a partner in Miami. So we'll, we'll keep monitoring to see if old Keith, uh, if he, uh, responds to us at, at any point. Oh, is that covering, is that the whole screen I see? Yeah. Okay. Sorry, let me pull that in a little. Ah! Do y'all know how much TJ hates a yellow line on the screen? I don't know if y'all know it. Um, he is the counsel to the official creditors community, uh, committee of Celsius Network. Huh. This is interesting. He's a counsel to the secured lenders of cryptocurrency miner Terra Wolf, which spells that the same way as Nova Wolf. That means there's some kind of connection there. Um, Windstream Holdings, 11 other cases. Gen X. Let's see if there's any other conflicts of interest here with this scammer. Um, represented ad hoc residential capital. Anyways, we're, we're, we're going to get a lot more into these conflicts of interest. Here's another guy. Here's another guy. Gregory Pesci. Gregory Pesci. This guy was one of the top 40 under 40. How he did that and he looks 50, I will never know. Um, oh, he's a fan of Ukraine, guys. There you go. So you know he loves mon money laundering, for sure. Uh, he is also a partner in financial restructuring and insolvency at White Case. Let's see if we can get Gregory to answer the phone. See if Greg will answer. Let's see. Let's call Let's let's call old Greg. Greg! Old Greg. <laughs> you know, whenever, whenever uh, we're at home and my wife loses her phone and she always says, Will you call my phone for me? You know what I do? Bethany's phone! <laughs> Bethany's phone, where are you? That joke never gets old at my house. Never gets old. Does that joke get old at your house? Let's see if we can get Greg on the phone. You know, none of these people. I mean, would you answer the phone? If you didn't know who it was, too. We just need one guy to answer the phone. Just one guy. This guy says he's a man of the people and then he shows a coin. <laughs> That's a nice comment. I like that one. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice message. Ben versus Toe Fun Guy. Three. Gary Gensler is not a fun two, guy. Six, one, three, eight, five, zero. You know, there's his number out there. Is not available. <laughs> At the tone, please record your message. Y'all know when what you to do. When you finish recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. Hey, Greg, it's uh, Ben Armstrong um, from BitBoy Crypto here. Just want to talk to you a little bit about how you are planning to uh, steal money directly from people um, that were able to withdraw from Celsius. Um, you know, your friend uh, Keith said that, uh, you know, there's going to be some rough justice coming. Um, just want to let you know, this is, this is day one of rough justice for all of you. It is coming. And uh, we're going to claw back your reputation. 
We're going to call back everything that you have personally, and we're going to kill your career. So that's what we're going to be doing. You, you have a approximately, I think maybe two weeks to get in line and get on the right side of this. Because let me tell you, Greg, this is only the beginning, my friend. This is only the beginning of the onslaught. And of course now, I mean, thank you for, thank you for leaving your phone number out in public for everybody to hear like that, since you put that on your own voicemail. So I assume you're probably gonna be getting a lot more of these calls from people on Celsius um, uh, that, that want their money back. They the want to keep their money. We, we have two groups of people, Greg. We have people that want to get their money back. And then we have people that want to keep their money. Meanwhile, you're a thief and you're trying to steal it from everyone. It's how are you top? By, by the way, just side question, Greg. How are you top 40 under 40 when you look 50? It's really weird to me. And I also want to say nice Ukrainian flag on your LinkedIn profile. It's really cool. I'm sure you've done a fair share of money laundering as well. Um, so don't worry, all your crimes will come to light. But your worst crime is you're a bottom of the barrel human and you deserve everything that's coming. Thank you, Craig. Take it easy. Bye. That's number one. I wish these mother chuckers would answer the phone. I want to get somebody on the line. So I don't want to tell who we're calling next because then they'll tell them not to answer. There you go, Greg. What, what a freaking douchey looking human this guy looks like. Oh man, these people. Greg Pess, Patsy, Pesci. Is this Joe Pesci's taller brother? Is that what this is? <sighs> Let's see. Let me move it over. Here, here we go, TJ. Oh, there, that's perfect. Perfect? Perfect? Oh, is that perfect, TJ? Almost. Oh, is that better? No. Is that better? <laughs> okay. We have a yellow desktop, guys, just so you know. Uh, Greg Pesci is a partner in the firm's financial restructuring and insolvency practice and is based in the Chicago office. I was just in Chicago. Man, just in Chicago. I wish I could have came and stopped by and saw you, Greg. Uh, focuses his practice on protecting and advancing the financial interests of corporate debtors. He is for the corporations. We're going to call him Corporate Greg. And secured and unsecured creditors. He represents the financial... <laughs> You can't, you can't make this stuff up. This guy, it literally says in his bio, he protects the interests of unsecured creditors. Literally says he protects the interests of unsecured creditors. How do you protect the interests of unsecured creditors? You take all their money, obviously. That's the way these lawyers work, man. Lawyer, I tell you what, lawyers can be the absolute bottom, bottom of the barrel people. I got, I got, I got Gary's number too. I'm just saving that one, guys. Don't think, don't, don't think I don't have his number right here in my phone. I got it saved. So we'll, we'll, we'll save that one for another day. Uh, let's see. He, he won the, okay. Okay. This is like, this is kind of like when I'll tell you what this is like, this is kind of like winning the, um, uh, the blue ribbon in best dressed corpse. That's what it's like for a, a mortician. Is that what they're called? Is a mortician the person that makes the, the person, the body of the morgue look great? Yes. Very similar. The embalmer. Very, very, I tell you what, good, good name for it. Barack Embalmer. That'd be a good one. Barack Embalmer. The, the greatest. Okay. It's kind of like winning the blue ribbon at the mortician contest. He won. He got the 40 under 40 from the American Bankruptcy Institute. <laughs> what a stupid organization. Oh my gosh. Do you love shutting companies down? Do you love screwing people left and right? Well, come join the American Bankruptcy Institute where all the lawyers make all the money. Good job. Um, this one at least, like this, this one's got a little more couth. They're at least like, okay guys, we got to think about how this comes off. Okay, Let, let's call ourselves the Global restructuring review. It sounds way better than American Bankruptcy Institute, doesn't it? These people, I tell you what. Uh, and here is my other guy. Here's my guy. I, I said, you know what this guy looks like? He looks like if you took, if you were doing Photoshop and you just had like a blank face and you had facial features and you copied them from someone else and then you moved them onto the canvas and then you shrunk them totally out of proportion. That's what this guy looks like. A sack of potatoes with a face. Does he have eyeballs? I don't know. He kind of reminds me of that. Uh, has anybody seen the movie? Uh, what's it called? Monster? Monsters? What's the one with, with uh, Fred Savage? Do where all the monsters are hiding under his bed? Let's see if we can find that real quick. Fred Savage. Or was it Ben Savage? It's Fred Savage, right? Monster? 
Little Monsters. Here it is. Here it is. Let's see if we can find Monsters movie. See if we can find one of these guys that kind of looks like this guy. I know there is one, if I remember correctly. There was like a really scary looking villain in this, in this movie. Where's the villain? Anyways, he kind of looks like the villain from this, I think. Here it is. <laughs> is that? No, 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 no. Here it is. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That's not him. I clicked on the wrong one. I clicked on the wrong one. There we go. <laughs> Very terrifying human, this guy. Um, but anyways, old Thomas, let's call Thomas right now. We got two numbers for Thomas. Let's call Thomas. Let's see. He lives in Puerto Rico, he says, to save on his taxes. What? Big, big surprise. That one's not in service. Let's try the other one. Hopefully this one will work. We had a harder time finding his numbers, but we'll get them. Somebody who knows these people will send us the numbers directly later. So I got Sam's number. God. Des Brooks, you probably look great. He looks like he works at Five Guys. <laughs> That's a good one. I'm sorry, guys. I have no sympathy for these people. No sympathy. If you have sympathy for them, you, you're watching the wrong channel. Just have two live streams, one for sheer entertainment, one to cover the news. Your call okay. has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Nine zero mm. eight seven one five seven three five eight is not available. At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. Hey, Thomas, you human looking thumb, mother chucker. What is going on? It's your, it's your guy, it's your friend. Uh, BitBoy here from uh, BitBoy Crypto. Uh, I would just like to say, first of all, you're a super douche, completely. Uh, you are screwing over the very people you are trying to represent. How the heck are you? I guess when I start there, how are you? Uh, we just called your friend, uh, Greg Pesci. Uh, we, don't worry, don't worry, Thomas. All of your conflicts of interest, <laughs> this is just the beginning, my friend. We have so much more on this that goes so much more in depth than I can even show in a live stream. We're, we're going to be showing all of your corrupt connections and why you are doing this to pad your own pocket. You, Thomas, and, and by the way, guys, Thomas single-handedly has the ability to stop this. You have the ability to do something good or to ruin people's lives. What, what a choice. What, what, what a decision that you have in front of you here, Thomas. One of them ends up with you actually becoming a hero. You actually become the hero here. You have the opportunity to change your narrative, Thomas, from supervillain to hero. That's all it takes. You are the chair. You are the coacher. And I know you are driving this. I know you're the driver. I've talked to people. I know you are the driver of the retail clawbacks. You have the chance to become a hero or you have the chance to ruin people's lives because what is it like to know that there are literally people out there that will kill themselves because of what you're doing? I, I hope that, that, that you and if you have your, a family as well, your entire family feels that burden of life that you have hanging in your hands right now. But I will tell you this, Thomas, if you do go the route, if you decide not to be the hero, if you do decide to be the villain, you're going to have your life ruined. I will take everything from you. We, we have a much bigger army than you have. We have much more funds than you have. We have much bigger say in what happens in crypto than you have. And if, that's it, gets cut off. I just, I had one more thing I was gonna say. Oh, who's this? Oh, hold on. Hello? Hi, is this Ben Armstrong? It is Ben Armstrong. Hi, this is Greg Pesh in my white case. How are you? Hey, Greg Pesh. How are you doing? I'm fine. Uh, I've got your voicemail. Okay. Uh, what can I do for you? Yeah, I'm just wondering, like, what, about the retail clawbacks and the fact that people are literally talking about killing themselves, that you have a decision in front of you guys to, for rough justice, um, it, it, as your friend Keith said. And I would like to know, why is this decision that pads all of your own pockets, that the lawyers are making all the money on this, why are you guys decided to screw over the everyday person? Look, we're we're not making any decisions, okay, Ben. Um, it's this is a, this is one of many issues that's going on in the case. 
I, I don't know. No, 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 no. This this is the issue. Just so you understand, this is the issue. This is the issue and, of the case. And, what, and how much? And how much? What do you think that your uh, clawback exposure is? Oh, I'm not concerned about me. I'm 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 concerned about the people that are talking about killing themselves over this. Look, that's I what I'm concerned about. Calls every day. It's really it is very tragic the situation that Celsius put these people in. Um, okay, but you're, you're saying you got you guys play a role in this, though, correct? We represent the creditors committee. We are, so 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 100 percent of this is uh, Thomas's decision as the chair of the uh, creditors committee? I don't know where you're getting your information from and I don't appreciate the tone. So if you want to have a conversation- No, I'm having a conversation you with you. To... If you think no, this not. is a bad tone, you see me on a bad day. Let's have a conversation. We are. Let's have a conversation, but I don't like the menacing voicemail and I don't oh. like uh, the, thre you know, the, the threats. So if you'd like okay. to have a conversation- We're having a conversation right now, Greg. Me, me, you, and about 5,000 people. We're talking right now. Great. Thanks, Ben. <laughs> um, look, if yeah. you'd like to- Share your take here. Uh, I, I, I am sure my take. My, my take is what do we need to do to stop these retail clawbacks? Because it, it, it's tragic that Celsius put this decision on, on, on the creditors union, but here's where we're at with it. They, they are making this decision that is literally going to put people in the ground. And, and you guys are playing a role in that. And, and, and the, the detachment of saying it's tragic, that doesn't, that, that undersells what's actually going on here right now. There are literally lives hanging in the balance of these decisions. And, and, we're, and aware, we, we're not, we're not, we are totally aware how, how difficult and complicated this has been. So we, we're not, that's not lost on us at all. That's why, that's why we had, that's why the debtor hasn't made a decision, Celsius. That's why we haven't made a decision because we're trying to figure out the best way to deal with this issue and overall to get people back full recovery for what they're owed. Okay. So it's, it's a, it's, there's a reason it hasn't been resolved. It's because we're trying to figure out the best possible way to address this issue, given all of the circumstances in front of us. Okay. So what, what can people do to express their disinterest in the retail clawbacks? What, what, what can the average person out there do who, who is a, who has money on Celsius or either it's part of the greater crypto community? <clears throat> um, look, we read all your, everyone who writes to us, we read it, you know, like we try to return as many phone calls, but we're getting all the people's input. And eventually you're going to have a chapter 11 plan that's put in front of you and you can vote on it or vote against it. And you can rally all of your friends there to, or people that are in a similar position to vote for it or against it. It's, it's going to be, you know, creditor democracy at work. Where, where specifically should people write to? Uh, if, when you say, uh, when you say that they, they write to you, what, what does that mean? Physical letters, email. It, what's the email address? People. Or, or, or is it a physical letter better? No, here I'll get it. To you just give me one second. Thank you. Right. Uh, if you write to Celsius Committee Inquiries at whitecase.com. So again, that's Celsius Committee Inquiries at whitecase. So W H I T E C A S E. Dot com. Um, that would be uh, where you um, can write us and we read them all and, you know, we try to respond wherever we can as appropriate. So, look, we haven't made a decision on the issue. Um, we're kind of collecting feedback from everyone. But um, mm -hmm. should, if you want to have a conversation or share your input, share your story, why don't you do that? And, and um, again, a decision hasn't been made here. We're trying to figure out the best way to address this issue. What, what, why did why did all of the claims, <clears throat> why did all of the bids get shut down when when a lot of them had legitimate plans? Or are you guys on that side at all? Um, yeah, you've got to get your facts right, Ben. Um, okay. The the bid that was received from Nova Wolf was the it was an external bid that was received, and that's what we are trying to work on right now. And that bid is going to give liquid crypto to everybody, and then for some of the users. They're going to get, you know, um, an interest in. Well, right, 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 right. But I mean, this, 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 it's obviously done in the, in the old rough justice style, try, trying to win the vote of the small user that didn't have a lot of money to be able to screw over the people that did have a lot of money. I mean, that's obviously the way those uh, numbers yeah, are rigged. Disagree. Yeah, Ben, look, we disagree with that. <clears throat> okay. Well, I mean, that, that it's, it's, it's factual when, you, when it's 85% of people have less than $5,000, then okay, so it's you obvious want, you're you trying to buy the vote. There's 600,000 users. You want 85% mm -hmm. of them to have 
like a, a tenth of a thousandth of a percentage ownership in a public company or a tenth of a well well the bit to, to, to my understanding to my understanding and great but let's get the facts right Let, let's do it while we're here to, to my understanding the bids were thrown out because this? are you recording this phone call ben oh it's oh you're not recording you're, you're on a live stream right now you're, you're on a live stream on right. youtube so, yeah, so man, I'm, uh, if you want to call me, I'm not going to be on live on YouTube. If well, you I have, have you have been for like 10 minutes now. Then, so, but you, you've been very helpful, I, actually. I, I, appreciate I appreciate all the information. You out, ben, yeah. And, uh, well, forward, this is the beginning. Uh, we'll, 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 you'll, you'll have plenty of more inquiries coming from this. I promise that. Thanks, Ben. All right. Goodbye. Bye. Mother chucker. Get off my Diz nickel. <laughs> yeah, I tried to tell him that I, not, I told him he was on a live stream. <laughs> I told him there were 5,000 people. Did he not get it? <laughs> Bamboozled. Bamboozled. We got you. How, how in the world? <laughs> he told me, he said he didn't like my tone. He said he didn't like my tone. Does he know me? That's the nicest I've ever talked to anybody on the show. <laughs> Should have gave him one of those right there. Hey, that was good stuff, though, wasn't it? That was good. <laughs> I love what I do. There's nobody out there in the world that has more fun than I do. Lighting these people up. <laughs> that was good stuff, wasn't it? Oh my gosh. They try to act, uh, it, Lenny here says, they try to act so civil while they wreck families with clawbacks. You heard his tone? He's trying to win me over. He's trying to convince me that, oh, you got the facts wrong, Ben. Oh no, sir. See, see here's the thing. When these lawyers are all in cahoots, and they're all lying at the same time in unison, of course I don't have the facts right because they change the facts. That's what they do. So there we go. Well, we got a lot of information there. We'll have to go back and dissect some of that stuff. How is the mic not broken yet? I don't know. That was take. Yeah, that was good. You were smart when you told him there were 5,000 listening. I know. Like I wanted, I, I could tell at first I thought maybe he knew what was going on. And then I realized he didn't. And I felt like I had a responsibility to let him know, hey, like, you're talking to people. You're, you're talking to people right now. There's people listening. This is not just me. Um, so the big uh, <laughs> was the whole office watching. <laughs> They're watching now, I bet. They're going back and watching now what he said. He sounded pretty calm, though, to, uh, you know, basically be getting ready to get so lubed up. Uh, go back up a little bit. Uh, Senior Crudo says, thanks for protecting the little guy. Absolutely. That's what we're here for. Um, go up. There was another, there was a, was there a super chat? Yeah, there was. Um, I started watching your channel about four months ago. My balls have grown substantially since then. From speaking up to speaking out. Uh, also tagging Boss Coin in there. Uh, Boss, or he's in the Boss Coin gang. Absolutely. Yeah, sorry. Frank's not coming on today. I just, he, did he realize that? I guess. Yeah, he did. Yeah, poor Frank. <clears throat> um, so, yeah. Long and short of it is, that I feel like we made some real progress there. We actually, and you tagged, we, we've got, did you put the email address? Did you pin it? No, I didn't, didn't get it all down, but we'll, we'll get it up. D okay. Drew, did you get it? Or AJ? It'll be, we'll get it in the description as soon as it's Somebody, right somebody, I know somebody in the chat got it. Somebody in the chat, please put that email address in the chat and then we will pin it. Well, and the good news is it looks like we'll be able to get some straight answers here. Pretty Like maybe we yeah. should call him back right afterwards off air and ask him some of these questions directly. And then we can, you know, like, hey, why did you know, you tell the judge to throw out all these other bids because yeah. he was talking about the Nova Wolf bid. That's not the yeah. bid we were talking about. No. There's plenty of other bids. The, no, that the Nova, like, well, you heard him. He said, see, this is how they pad this stuff. It was an external bid. <laughs> yeah. It, it was a different bid than the rest. They came in later, after. It was external. So I missed a big super chat. The $20 one, see what the $20 one said. Another epic show <laughs> of Crypto 420. Appreciate that. We love you. Appreciate that, guys. Um... At least, yeah, you know what? At least he called back. I will give him credit. I mean, after yeah. I left him that tough message, I mean, I didn't, I don't expect these people to call back after they hear who I am and what I'm doing. You know, it's a one, it's a one shot. It's one shot. If we call and they get it, then you know, it is what it is. I bet he's required. I, I bet he is required by his office to call every person back. Can we, let's, let's go to, um, this is not doxing by the way, because this is all public. Uh, if you go here to hit to Greg, type in contact info. Let's see here. Type in this. Let's put his phone number out here, guys. This is not a personal phone number. This is this is his business phone number. 
Um, let's see, where is White and Case? I think it's on, I found it last night. I remember that. I found it last night, so I know it's public. I know it's on a website. <sighs> well, and the bottom line is, like you said, they, ha they, need, they have to listen to these. He's willing to listen to these. So if you, especially here if, it you is, have, right here. if you no, have- No, that's Keith's, that's Keith's. If you have any money on Celsius at all, or if you're a creditor in any way, large or small, here you it need is. to make your voice heard on this. Here it is, guys. This is Greg's phone number. This is his email address. Let's let's overwhelm him. You you heard what he said. He said the decision has not been made yet. He said the decision has not been made yet. This is why we have a chance to make a difference because of what you just heard right there. We have to overwhelm them. And listen, when when it doesn't matter if you have a case with Celsius or not. I'm calling on all of the Bit Squad, every person who cares about crypto and cares about the future of this industry. You call this guy. You call him and you leave him a message and you tell him that you want to talk to him about what's going on with Celsius. Every person. If you have a phone. <laughs> if you don't have a phone, you can email him. Um, so there it is. And also, if you guys want to uh, get Keith, here's, here's Keith's uh, information here. As well, old, old Clawback Keith, where, where did his stuff go? This is Keith's. This is Keith's email address, and this is his phone number, 212. That's a New York phone number right there. But he says he's in Miami. Is he in New York, or is he in Miami? I don't know. Where's Keith? Don't, don't, don't. So there you go. <clears throat> I, I, I tell you, you think Greg would tell me he didn't like my tone to be in, in my face in front of me? You think he'd say that to me like that? He does seem like the type. He does, doesn't he? He yeah. does, doesn't he? I'm not scared. 40 under 40, but he looks 50. We'll have to see what happens. I, I should have asked him about that. That would have been my last question. <laughs> last question. How did you pull off that 40 under 40? Is that like the time... I'm going to confess a crime right here. Is that like the time when I was 20 and, and, and we fudged my birth certificate so I could play in a baseball tournament with, with some 18-year-olds? Is this like that? Is that what he did? Did he fudge his birth certificate? Just a little bit. You guys know, if you got kids in travel ball, you, you know the one kid that's clearly 12 and is playing with the eight-year-olds? Is that Greg? Could be. Could be Greg. Except he's fudging it the other way. I don't think that's actually a crime, guys. That was a joke. I don't think that's actually a crime. Um, okay. So, hey, you know what happened that day? You want to talk about karma? What happened that day? is they needed an extra player. It wasn't It wasn't because I was so much better than everybody else. They needed an extra player, and they're like, we can, we're going to forward this tournament. Can you come play? I was like, okay. I left my wallet with my real license at the concession stand <laughs> where they kept the score and they checked all the, all the ages. They didn't think when they looked at it to find out who I was to call, to, to figure out how to contact me to look at the birthday. <laughs> I tell you what. Okay, let's move on here. Celsius debtors release sale plan, choose Nova Wolf as planned sponsor. Debtors of bankrupt crypto lender, Celsius Network has presented a sale plan to the U.S. Bankruptcy Court of the Southern District of New York. Plan is the product of the debtor's court-approved sales process with Celsius Network lawyers had outlined in January 2023. They had said the bankrupt crypto lender is planning to reinvent itself as a new publicly traded recovery corporation in order to exit the bankruptcy process. I'm, I'm here to tell y'all, just cancel all this. Just cancel all this and give us our money back and can we all just be done and wipe our hands? That's what everybody wants. I don't care about equity in a new company. Nobody cares about equity in a new company. Everybody just wants their money back. That's it. Don't give me 20% today and tell me, well, you might get it back if uh, we got this new mining operation and we have this new stable coin on this blockchain that nobody knows about and it works really great. You might get some money back. That sounds like, here, I'll give you $1 million in this ICO token to do a three-minute video on it with your 2,000 subscriber channel because it's never going to be worth anything. That's why they do it. It's, it's not real money. This is not real money, guys. The real money is what's in your account. Nuco will be a regulatory compliant reporting company, 100% owned by earned creditors, all of whom will receive a significant distribution of liquid crypto with a convenience class of creditors receiving 70% of the recovery funds. Of course, this is 85% of the people fit into this convenience class, which is why they're doing it. Turn your back on this. Forfeit the money short-term to send a message long-term. 
New Celsius, no Celsius founder will be involved in NUCO. A majority of the NUCO board will be appointed by the UCC. Oh, 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 okay. So you're telling me, <laughs> so you're telling me that a new company is going to be created and there's going to be no Celsius involvement, yet the board members are going to be picked by the same people who are coming after your money via retail clawbacks. That gives me a lot of safety and assurance, doesn't it? Do you feel good about that, TJ? Not at all. Not at all. Uh, let's see. How many more stories do I have here to cover? Just two. Celsius crypto customers face big obstacle in trying to claw back their deposits. A change in the corporate structure the bankrupt crypto lender made when it was raising money last year may come under scrutiny. Oh, there's Naomi. I love Naomi. I haven't talked to Naomi in a long time. I miss Naomi. Um, let's see, does this have any, this doesn't have any, uh, highlights here. Bankruptcy case of Celsius entering a new phase where shareholders will be pitted against the firm's beleaguered, beleaguered customers. Customers seemingly facing a major disadvantage at the company parcels out its assets in an auction. A recent motion to appoint a preferred equity committee seeks to put shareholders at the front of the queue when it comes to the sale of the custody firm GK8. Huh, that's cool. Um, uh, I see that super chat there. Crypto Jesus. Interesting. A point of interest. I'll tell you this though. I don't, they can try to sue me. I don't care. Wait, if, record somebody, put it out on air. What are they going to do? What's going to really happen? They can put me in jail. Cool. I'll do a week. I, I'll make some great fire content when I come out. I will go to jail for y'all for a week. That don't bother me at all. They're going to, they're going to, uh, you know, they're going to sue me. They got much bigger problems on their hands, boys. That's what you got to understand here. Um, well, you, uh, and, and plus, to... the thing about suing people, by the way, is that other people have to play nice with it. You realize you can sue somebody and they just never respond and nothing ever happens. If you never, ever, ever respond, nothing ever happens. Well, the real important no. thing is these people are supposed to represent us. Let's not forget that these people are supposed to represent yes, our interests. So 100%. We're exposing that they're not representing our interests. They can't just ignore that. And that's the whole point here. We're not trying to do anything, you know, wrong. We're just trying to draw attention to the fact that no, that the people that are claiming to represent the retail interests are doing the exact opposite. That, that, that's it, 100%. <sighs> Sorry. Sorry. I, we're not talking hex today. Sorry. I already addressed it once. I do like, you're great. But decentralized exchanges are the answer. We'll leave it at that. We'll, we'll allow your super chat to stay up. That's what we'll do. Um, that's, that's, that's not on topic where we're at today. Oh, oh. I just said, oh, well, they deleted Wasn't it. I'm me. sorry. I yeah. said they could stay up. It is what it is. These people are supposed to stand for you. And once again, we get in a situation where you understand who the people are that stand for you. They're not the people. Remember this. The cryptos become the villains in crypto and the villains become the heroes. The people who you don't think stand for you at first, when you come in, you realize these are the people who have been fighting for you the entire time. The people that are supposed to stand for you, that are supposed to literally represent your financial interests, they are screwing you and holding you over a barrel. And that's what we don't put up with. We don't put up with the lion in sheep's clothing, the wolf, excuse me, in sheep clothing. The Nova wolf in sheep's clothing, if you will, on this day. Um, they're raising money and reshuffling somewhere in the middle of the series be due diligence. Celsius finds out the c consumer business has regulatory problems or maybe it's insolvent. Um, who knows what they find so to move things around. Um, let's see. <clears throat> Characterization of the customer funding will be a major factor in determining the relative rights. Put all the money in one pool. White and Case declined to comment. Well, all you got to do is call them and they'll answer your questions. Call old Greg. Old Greg. Is that old Greg like a meme? Yeah, old, old Greg. Greg. Old yeah. Greg. It's like a fishing meme or something. Mm -hmm. uh, let me give the last last story here. No, we'll. Uh, Celsius and Fabric Ventures clash over 8 million series uh, B clawback. VC company Fabric Ventures is committed to investing $8 million, but bankrupt crypto lender Celsius demanded to withdraw more than $6 million of that amount. Action is the most recent in a protracted bankruptcy proceeding overseen by Kirkland and Ellis. Kirkland and Ellis. We are coming after you too. I hope you guys are ready for that. We are coming after Kirkland and Ellis. This, this is enough. This is enough. And I hope you guys understand why the focus of this show has been this today. 
I'm so ha so glad that we actually got a human interaction on this call. Things changed today. Sam set the tone for what needed to be done. Today, as members of crypto and the crypto community, we have the power within our hands now. We have influence, we have money, we have legal things we can pursue, legal avenues. We have a lot we can pursue to stop this. And we are going to stop these callbacks. I want you to hear me. I want you to look into my eyes. You want to just listen to me now. We are going to stop these retail clawbacks together. All of us. We're going to band together. We're going to get the pitchforks. We're going to get the lanterns. We're going to go under the banner of rough justice. And we're going to stop this. That's all I got. Be blessed. Bit boy out.